And you believe it? Uh, some, sometimes it? you gotta just, you know, just do it to believe it. I feel like it doesn't even feel real yet, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if it ever will. Well, if you missed last week's video or whatever week it was, our announcement, we're moving. We're, we're moving this house. week. We just got the call that we're moving in... Like four days. Four days. Four days. We got the keys to the new place late last night. We didn't make it over there. So we're going to head over there today. Yes. First time as owners. As owners. <laughs> We got to do the uh, old carry over the threshold that mm -hmm. my mom mm -hmm. told us to do mm -hmm. every house we buy. Yes. So, got to do some ceremonies, break in the house a little bit. Also, if my neck looks weird, it's because it's still like, found the laser. Okay, so don't worry. <laughs> still lasered up. We're like in, we're just shocked, I feel like. We're just crazy. We're so excited and I like, can't believe this. Like, it's a dream come true. But literally, like, it still almost doesn't feel real. Well, nothing is like happened yet. I think. Right, nothing. That that's why. Besides, like, getting the place. Looks exactly the same right yeah. now. We're still here. Like, true. It's just, it's all gonna come real quick. When the movers get here Saturday morning, yeah. that will be the true like. Oh, we're doing this. And then they start packing stuff up, and then our house starts looking empty, Whoa. and then we're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, the crazy part is, is we've actually been in this house now for three years. Yes. And before that, all of our other apartments, we've only lived in for like a year, year and a half. So mm -hmm. it was really easy and normal to move out of them. Like, didn't even feel like we had really even like fully settled into each place. Yeah. But here we're like. This was our first home. It was our first you know? home. Oh. That's, that's sad. Kind of sad. It is sad. It's very bittersweet for sure. Like, we're really sad to leave this house. We love it so much. But all good things, good all good things come to an end, right? Yeah, and it's new, just... New journeys. Yeah, at the end of one chapter is the beginning of another, okay. and we're excited for that. So it's more sweet than bitter, but of course we feel very, like, attached to this house too. Yeah, but, but so excited. Yes. So excited. Can't wait to show you guys all about the new house, everything we love about it. Yeah. All the fun projects we have, all the good content. Um, but for now, we're just going to head over there, break it in a little bit. And then we gotta come back here and start packing. packing. Wow. So I have a little moment for this little burst of sunshine. What You're so that? cute, babe. Oh, for me? Mm -hmm. I thought you meant literally the sun. No, you. <laughs> You're my burst of sunshine. I'm gonna have a spring cookie. Ooh. Do you want one? Yummy, sure. Yay. Ooh, celebration. New beginning. We're celebrating with cookies. Love your outfit. Walking up to the front door for the very first time as home owners. <laughs> Not yet. How exciting. A little red front door. Change that someday. You want to do the honors? But don't step in. How exciting. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. Two days until move. Like Two days? Enough like 36 hours. 36, 36 hours. minutes. 36 hours until the movers will be here. 36 minutes, babe. No. Mm -hmm. 36 minutes at a panic attack. I think I'm gonna have a little panic attack. I'd lose it. I'd lose it. Delaney's cooking spaghetti for us tonight. Lentil spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Yum. Me gusta mucho. Yum, yum, yum. Looking good, babe. It's like I'm literally already ready. Is it? But I'm starting the purge. purge the get rid of stuff, go through stuff before the movers come so we don't move a bunch of stuff to the new house. I started in the garage. I went through, this is all gonna go to donations, but I went through this cabinet already, cleared it out a lot. And this one, not too much here, just a few pairs of shoes we're gonna donate. So this is all gonna come to the new house. And now I'm going over there, this side. Just gonna kind of work my way through all of our belongings to see what we do and do not want or need or 
can donate, stuff like that. Just like kind of going through, like there's just so much random stuff that starts building up in random places. And I'm like, what even is that? Like we don't need that. I'm gonna go through here. Most of this stuff is probably good. Come my golf clubs, stuff like that. Gonna clean it out. Who's this cuter? Mine's cuter. Mine? Oh, Delaney wins. Don't have a fork yet, Delaney right? wins. No, I don't have a fork. One of our last home cooked meals in here, or just one of our last meals in general in here. Yeah, we'll probably eat here tomorrow night, but we'll probably do takeout because it's the night before move. I know, we're gonna make cook. I don't know. This is off. literally it, babe. You just fixed the last dinner. In here. Don't say that. I might do it did. tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow too. You're not gonna have time for that. Don't I'm gonna be putting you to work cleaning stuff out. How's it? Were the noodles the right cooked? Yes. Noodles are perfect. Why is my hair brown? Noodles are perfect. I'm so confused. If you get gluten-free pasta, please only cook it for 50 to like 60% of the time they recommend. It's so much better. I don't know what's going on with their recommendations. Because if you cook it the full amount of time, it gets to the point where in your bowl, it's like all broken apart. Mm -hmm. Like it breaks apart. This is perfect level. I think we did it for six minutes and it suggested eight to nine. I set a timer for five and then it wasn't enough, so we did it a little longer. Dinner time. Last night in our house. We're about to move tomorrow. Tomorrow's moving day. And then a few days after that, three days, two days after that, we're going to Miami for Blake's Bachelorette and then straight from Miami. I'm headed to New York. I'm going to meet Clayton in New York. And then we're gonna stay there for the month because we love New York. And we already had this booked before yeah, yeah. we knew any of this was gonna happen. So, yeah, it's a little funny. It's a little crazy. Oh. oh. So, currently, tonight, we're packing for moving tomorrow, packing for Miami Bachelorette, packing for a month in New York. And then at the end of my stay in New York, I'm going to, I'm not flying straight home, I'm flying to Scottsdale for my friend Liv's bachelorette. So, packing for two bachelorettes. It's literally bachelorette season. And moving in New York, so. I'm gonna kiss this room goodbye. This is crazy. We're gonna go on our last neighborhood walk here. We're gonna go on our last walk here. I need to go push my teeth. Today, the movers are coming in. Oh, babe. <laughs> Good morning, Why you do me like that? We hired Roadway Moving to help us with our move, and we're actually doing a full packing service. Yeah, we've never done that, so I feel like we don't really know. I mean, they're gonna pack everything, so we didn't really pack anything. I haven't I think, packed anything. Yeah, I think maybe we'll pack a few. Sorry, camera died on me. Anyways, so we haven't packed anything yet, and we'll probably pack like a couple things, like our valuables and our uh, refrigerator, freezer, stuff like that. Please, your mouth. I've had my tongue scraper for sure. Ah, I just made my tongue bleed. I've never done that. Scraped it too hard, I guess. Yeah, so we're really excited. And because our move was kind of like last minute and abrupt. Yeah, we only found out 
three days ago they were moving. Yeah. So. so it's honestly so nice that they are going to do the packing as well. So literally, that's what's kind of weird about this is right now, it looks like we're not moving. Yeah. And I think if we weren't also taking a month-long trip and myself going to two bachelorettes on either end, it would be like very seamless and not even really be that chaotic because then we'd just be like chilling and we just you know have everything packed or they would pack everything and they would move everything and then we would just settle and I feel like it would be really easy and chill but because we only found out three days ago and then we're also just taking this trip right after I feel like there is still so many chaos vibes but the hope of them is going to lessen the chaos. Yeah, we're but super stoked. Why don't you put your tongue scraper in? It's cute. easy access. It and you don't even clean it off, so there's still stuff. No, it's just yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be showing up in about an hour and a half, and I'm kind of excited to see how this goes down. I mean, when we've had movers in the past, they literally just come in and. But never packing. We never had full pack. So we've had other types of movers in the past when they come like wrap your furniture, they just come in. Seriously, they just like get shit done. Alright guys, movers are here. Roadway. Yeah. Look at this. Up. It's already underway. There we got a bunch of stuff in here. What'd they put? A few wardrobe boxes. I saw a couple chairs come out. I think there's some chairs up there. It's going hard already. Movers work so hard. That is like such a hard job. Literally. Oh man. I can really it's a it. tough one. Yeah. because if you follow along, if you're a regular, you know last time we went to New York for a month, I got my nails done in New York and it was literally the worst nail experience of my life. Like it was so bad. And then everybody in the comments or in my DMs was telling me that New York is notorious for having not great nail places. So I was kind of scarred. And so this time when we we're going for a month, I was like, I kind of want to just push out my nails for as long as possible like just keep my nails for a little over four weeks they're gonna be super grown out but my nail girl is so good and i just don't want to like mess up my nails again so today is the only day that she could get me in before we leave so i'm just gonna like hop over there in the middle of moving to make things extra chaotic you know um and i think we're just gonna get like very neutral nails because i'm gonna have them on for years and that will look best for growing them up so the second bachelorette, don't look at my nails, okay? Because it's gonna be. The new place first things it's first chaos. it's literally chaos i hate gray things we hate gray it has to go get out of here ah! Ooh. stunning much better wow she's a beaut should, should she go that way or that way? definitely this way okay but that's kind of weird that's like i think i feel like you should go 
that way. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. Oh yeah, she's a little wonky. It does fit though. She's just not maybe the right room for this kitchen, sadly. Because now it's like very unsymmetrical. But it looked really weird from over here coming this way. Yeah. Like, this like is a funny, shorter, funny kitchen for a rug. Yeah. If it was shorter, that way it would be like really nice. Right. Yeah, I wonder what we want to do for a rug. Maybe two. Right. One in front of the sink, one in front of the stove. Just little pads. Or like, what if that was like right in the middle? That'd be weird, right? I think so. It's too skinny to be in the middle. It'd have to be like a bigger rug to be in the middle. How this comes out. Oh, <laughs> no, my <laughs> It's like not even at the sink. Like, look how weird that looks. Yeah. It's not right. Goes our bedding. I thought this rug might look better over here. Come on, rug. I'm just really dragging this rug around. Oh, yeah, it could be really nice right there. Okay. Could be like that. Because our couch is gonna like frame this in right here, so it'd be behind the couch. Yeah. Should this come this way? Yeah. yeah. You're doing all the heavy work, babe. Um, that seems about maybe a little bit that way. I'll tell you when. Uh, good. guys work so hard. I have I so much feel, respect for them. I feel so bad. Like, yeah, I feel bad. But like, that's their job. And they're like, so I just have, I have so much respect. Like, yeah. props brothers. They're so good at it. I just feel literally so awkward too when people are working like so hard and I'm just like not doing that much because I'm literally useless. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's what you hired them for, but it's like, I know, I just it's feel tough to like bad. sit around and watch. I felt so I hopped in from time nice. to time. Yeah, you can like do stuff. I was like... Delaney put together the house pretty well tonight. Got some good work done. And I'm just so excited. Yeah. This house is our dream. Like, Everything and more. Oh my god. And literally, I don't know. I'm just so excited. I'm so happy. This is fun. Yeah. Change is so fun. We're so stoked. See how we sleep. And yeah, yeah, gonna, gonna catch some Z's first night in. Catch them. The room turned out so cute. It's so cozy. It's a little corner right there. It's a little nightstand. It's nice and cozy. Here's the other one. Cozy, cozy. I'm obsessed. Alright, good night, babe. I love you.
right, so it was our first day here. Successful first day. Where am I putting you? We just like unpacked a bit more, got a little more settled. It feels more like home. The wheels are turning like crazy for what we want to do design-wise, which is actually really exciting and inspiring and fun. So looking forward to that. I want to spend hours on Pinterest right now. But we had a great day. We actually had lunch with JC and Leif. They came over and saw the place, which was super fun. And it just felt good to like hang out with friends in here and mingle and chat. And then Samir and Aiden are on their way over right now. We're gonna give them a little tour, hang out with them for like hors d'oeuvres and like a cocktail or wine or something, and then go to dinner because we usually have dinner with them every Friday night. It's like kind of become a tradition and it's one of our favorite parts of the week, but we moved on a Friday, so now we're doing it on a Saturday. And we're kind of just trying to like soak up every moment in here with friends yeah. before, because we're leaving for the New York to stay, obviously, and we just like want to experience and this as much. Everybody's as excited, mm -hmm. just like we're super excited, so we don't want to leave. We yeah. didn't leave all day today, besides breakfast. Yes. So. Yeah, we went on a little walk. And then we just been unpacking and just really embracing it. So. Yes. So I'm excited, excited for them to come over. We'll watch sunset, have a little hors d'oeuvre, go to dinner, and like. This is just giving us kind of a Taste. preview, yeah, of what we're gonna have once we can like settle in. Preview. Soft we're really excited for it, yeah. So we're enjoying it. We're just like so giddy and so happy. <laughs> still got it. Yeah. We're still, still we still have it. a lot of work to do with unpacking and stuff, we but really we are the we're making progress. Alright, we're back at the old house for one last Guys, stop. Don't look at my neck and my face right now. I'm so scared. She's tanning. <laughs> Oh wow, guys. It's all empty. Wow, oh, wow, wow. It was a fun house. It was a great house. Remember the decorations for Christmas? The gallery wall. That was totally your vision, babe. You wanted the gallery wall. such a great house. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. If any of you are also moving or about to be moving and into spiritual things, my mom told us to come to the house before we leave and thank it and bless it. So thank it for being such a good house and bless it and just, you know, it's like an energy thing. So we're gonna do that tonight and Mm. Just a neat little idea if you guys are moving to and into it. Yeah. Sweet. It's good. This place was freaking good to us. We had so many moments here. Yeah. Oh, we lived here. <laughs> we survived the pandemic here. Yeah. This was our, like, uh, shelter, you know? It yeah. has a very, like, shelter feeling to it because of that, yeah. I feel like. Tons of friends. Yeah. After the pandemic. And even during, like, we would spend so much time with Drew and Molly here, like, we didn't go anywhere, yeah. we didn't go out, we didn't Drew do anything, Molly. we just, like, made it work in our house. Every Friday we Drew Molly. Drew Molly, and then to the hot dog. Crazy. We had so many friends come kind of visit here, from out of town. Jude and Hunter, Joe and Ken, our families have been here, most of them. We spent some nights here with JC and Leif, Samir and I had a tough of time. Like and Joan. Like and Joan. Made some terrible, uh, made some terrible dumplings for Like, like and Joan here. Oh my gosh. You used to make margaritas. We had some really good times here. Yeah. We loved yeah, it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our first home. But not our first place we lived together. No. But it's different because we were, we were here for almost three years. Everything else was. An apartment, or yeah. yeah. I think this was an apartment in max year and a half. Let's gonna conclude episode era. one. Oh, and this era. It's gonna conclude yeah. this era. And episode one of our mooning mooning vlog. Mooning vlog. We should have just had no furniture in here the whole time. All right. That was fun guys, we're gonna make a lot of memories and have a lot of fun at our new house. So thank you 
for those of you who are on this chapter of this journey and we look forward to the next chapter together. Mm -hmm.